Hey guys, you know what's great after a long day of cleaning the house? French fries. So today we're going to talk about do's and don'ts for the holiday season. Now, my do's and don'ts are mostly going to be like stereotypical scenarios that I can think of off the top of my head because I figure I can't be the only one that has to go through these. So here we go. Scenario number one. What to do when somebody gives you a present that you might not exactly be so happy to receive. Like the one aunt that gives you a pair of socks. Don't look at them like they're disgusting. Be like, oh, socks, I could always use socks. Or that uh, distant relative that decides you need new underwear. Just. Receive it with a smile. Now, there's some gifts that are a little more difficult to do. For example, um, I'm allergic to perfume, like anything perfumed. So somebody came up, if somebody came up to me and was like, oh here, have, have some perfume, I'd be like, thanks. Which actually I tend to get, because I'm uh, transgender, but my mom doesn't want most of her family to know. Uh, people are like, oh, you're a girl, you must want perfume. Not really even knowing that I'm allergic and my throat swells up and my eyes get itchy and I can't breathe. So I'll get maybe anywhere between one and four things of perfume a year for Christmas, especially since I've gotten older, which is ridiculous. So sometimes I just want to Take the bottle and throw it. But obviously you can't do that, so you just, you accept presents with a smile. And try not to compare them to other people's presents because even if you don't really think that it's something that great, they probably still were thinking of you, just not really knowing what you would want, so they tried to get you something practical. And practical can be good. Scenario number two. So, you know, at a lot of Christmas parties or get-togethers with family or whatever, there's a lot of, like, appetizers set out. Something I've always thought of is how much is the proper amount to take? Like, if you're thinking, ooh, those look really good, but you're not quite sure if you want to grab them all, or if you want to just like take one, thinking it'd be rude to take any more. Well, here's a tip. Think of the people that are around you. Think of how much they would eat. Think of how much they've made and how many people there are. Usually you can get a fairly decent feel for how much you can take while balancing the line between rude for not eating enough or not eating too much. Unless you're me, who just wants to take everything and go rawr, rawr, rawr. If you want to shove your face, you should probably make sure no one's looking. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Scenario three. Ooh. Greetings. Now, I know different families have different greetings or whatever, but usually families tend to, you'll go up and you'll be like, oh, hi, here's a hug. Or like maybe your grandma will kiss you on the cheek or, or kiss you on the head or like pat your head or whatever. And I feel like the holidays or that one time you just kind of let them do what they will do. Personally, I really don't like when people pat me on the head because, I mean, I'm turning 19 early next year, and I don't want to be treated as a child, but at the same token, the holidays are a sort of season of togetherness and acceptance, and sometimes you've just got to accept that when you grow up, it's a little bit more difficult for others to see you as an adult than it is for you to see yourself as an adult because they've seen you as a kid. And even though you have as well, it's a little bit different from someone else's eyes when your whole life has been only some of their years. So just, just 
just be a little considerate to those family members who might be a little lovey because they're in the spirit of the season or they can't see you as often and it's not out of any sort of disrespect. Scenario four, though it's not really a scenario, would be manners. Now I think it's good manners to let uh, the younger people go first or if you're like my family who does each person gets one and you continue around in a circle, you can do that too. But really, I think manners are probably one of the most important things, not just in life, but like, especially for the holiday season. Like, it's a time for you to be with family, so you don't want to be going around texting on your phone or, or, or texting and talking and going to places and talking to all those people. Like, you are here to be with your family and to celebrate, and whether you celebrate Christmas or a number of other just as great uh, wintertime holidays, it's it's still a time of family. And even if you and your family don't necessarily get along, it's kind of like, here's your little peace treaty, Garland. <laughs> so that's just a quick little thing on sort of holiday manners or scenarios or whatever you want to call it. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to talk about some family customs uh, that we do during Christmas, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned for tomorrow. Oh, and today was Vlogmas number nine. One more thing before I end this video. Uh, the two books that I mentioned yesterday, definitely already finished both of them. Uh, so those are both finished. And a series I like just had a new episode come out today, and I'm really excited, so I'm gonna go watch that. Bye, guys!